back up your van a bit? Hi, I'm Hot. I'm in Ryan, and this is David. Can you tell me about the Krabi Bolting Fund? Uh... <laughs> We did no warm up. <laughs> Local climbers come together and raise money together from the community to buy bolts and glue and make sure that the crag is safe. Uh, in Thailand, we have to use glue and bolts only and specifically titanium uh, glue and bolts. Uh, so that's the most expensive bolting that we have on the planet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is. Unfortunately. This is not the first time you've done this test. The, the, the third time. Okay. What are you learning from your pra uh, past two tests? The bolts are really strong. And how much work it is to pull oh, yeah. on. <laughs> yeah. It's basically one whole day to do the test uh -huh. when you don't know what it, you're doing. Oh, uh, it no, even if you do. Okay, here we've got an 8mm uh, U bolt, and here is a, a 9mm uh, staple, and uh, we've got RE500 glue. Why is it all bent? This one, we did a pull test on it already. What we want to do is have the, the rope break, not the bolt break. So we got the line scale 3. This is the, the backup, so when it goes flying, this will catch it. But this rope is going through here. And we'll find out if it breaks here uh, or if it breaks in the knot. Uh, and you can see here that this one is bent from the last one. But this is not bent from any of the tests so far. But this is also a bigger diameter. On this side, we have this rope that will catch it in case this carabiner breaks and wants to fly this way, so this doesn't hit this rock, which is why this rope is here. And then this is a two to one, so it's fixed on that side to that tree, and then it goes over here and you're pulling the tail. And then this one is kind of like, kind of an open V, right? It, it, it's, um, you lose efficiency this way. This is not an oval, and so we'll see if those side plates get jacked up. Whoo hoo, that sun is hot. And so then we have another mm, two to one. Then we have another. <laughs> <laughs> two to one pulling with the car our anchor is bomber always attached to the most bomber part of your car okay I'm the human tripod so okay stop screen rope wasn't long enough right you have to pull this so much in order to uh, get to get that to move a lot so we're gonna reset this stop 7.23 but the bolt hasn't uh, moved yet so we're using dynamic ropes so the stretch is killing us we've got our fixed rope there right pulley and we're pulling on this end and we're pulling on this end because that's fixed and uh, in order to get it tight uh, munter mule mess overhand now this is an efficient use of the grigri but it holds it and we have a car so i'm not worried about efficiency as much as just holding it so as soon as we pull a little bit, then I can reset this, and this will never end up touching uh, the tree over there. Nope, stop, 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 stop. That is not good. So this carabiner just did not stay latched, and when we put the force on there, it, uh, it opened up. Stop. This thing has been pulled all the way again and everything's just creaking. Holy sh Oh my God. This did nothing with that much power. 18.11. Oh my God, it's still 35 degrees Celsius out here. Oh, wow, yeah. But this is the second test on it. Uh, this is not the first time, you know? Yeah, this did break at the carabiner. I am in Nevada right now, and we are going to test some U-bolts in a mine adit. Shafts go down, apparently. Adits go sideways. And we put in a bunch of these bolts in the sidewall, and we put our hydraulics, our bolt buster setup, into the back of this thing. And we're going to pull it, ideally, away from us. So we're safe-ish. And uh, I can't read the sign since it's upside down, but I think we're not supposed to go in this because the, the roof could collapse on us at any time. But we figured out how to take a risky activity of breaking bolts and make it more risky. But what's really cool about these U-bolts is they're titanium. And these ones are titanium, titanium made in China with no information about them other than the Krabi Bolting Fund are using these in Thailand. Other alternative would be Titan Climbing also has a U-bolt. Martin, who really nerds out on titanium, makes a really high quality rated U-bolt. 
and these are like don't know anything about them i don't know but they're more affordable speaking of affordable fix has a titanium bolt as well that is the low low price of the down payment on a car the problem with non-rated gear is if these do well you don't know if the next batch will do well but i do like the fact this has a threaded rod on the ends because it grabs the glue really really well as opposed to this fix bolt which has these notches that are kind of tapered and when we've tested the bell-shaped bolts that also have this versus this uh these always held way way better and so i mean it's super good enough. it's all it forces you're not going to use but if you're going to get nerdy about something uh, i just really like this more we're going to start with shear and see if they fold over and then snap which would be super cool i don't know if it's going to like hold stronger because there's two things or if it's just going to hold in the rock better because there's way more it's grabbing or it could even compromise the rock because the holes are right next to each other like a perforated paper so this is the first u-bolt that i've ever installed and i'm trying to figure out how to line up the two holes it's important to use safety goggles now i need to just line this up so let me guess let me pull out my rock laser here don't worry myself and the internet will laugh at you if you get it wrong now what I'm gonna do when I glue this, I'm gonna make sure these threads are really coated with the glue because once it's in there, I can't like rotate it and mix it once it's in. I'm gonna put it in and hopefully not put it in too deep and that's all I'm gonna be able to do. So wear rubber gloves, it should be fine. I got liquid rock 500 here. Since uh, we're not pulling these till tomorrow morning, this will have enough time to cure. Uh, otherwise I would have just probably used AC 100 because I'd be able to pull it 20 minutes later. Start in the back of the hole. In this case, I'd probably fill it up two thirds. Now, before I started squirting this on uh, into the holes, I pre-squirted out some because the white component of this two-part epoxy did not come out right away. So you have to make sure both parts are being mixed. It's good to know the color of your epoxy before you use it in real life so you can identify whether or not it's proper mixed. This part of the glue cured. It's a little bit brittle with the razor blade. This part over here, which is the first that came out, is still soft. So if you put that in your hole, uh, your bolt might come out. Pre-gooping the threads. Okay, we're gonna test the titanium first with a super strong red pin shackle to a triple yellow spin set to this thing. To this thing, which I gotta be careful with, this thing that goes to our laptop, our two inch rod with two foot throw on our, with our four inch bore hydraulic cylinder that goes to a super bomber anchor that has sliding X's on sliding X's on sliding X's on sliding X's. Okay. Let's Don't they make these in this shape for some bolts? Yeah, right. Does Romer make a yeah the like that? threaded rod? Grabs that glue pretty good. I mean, I did hold really well. Do you think the Hilti would have done better? Well, no, no, it wasn't. But that wasn't the problem. And I think this was the problem. Yeah, there's a lot of new cracks in there. Yeah. On the last one, I was positive the rock would fail, but I was very surprised by how high what a high force it generated. So the MBS of the good limestone here is 55. Yes, Super strong enough. Yep. It's a rock issue, not a bolt issue. So this next one is a glue-in by Fix. What did they say about it? It was so expensive that I was the only one that bought any to test for you guys. Forty-one and a half. Forty-one and a half. Wow. Where'd it go? In the rock? No, it's still, uh, it's still in the rock. Oh, it's, it's still in the rock. rock. That changed the shape dramatically and then broke it. Do you have thoughts about U-bolts? Uh, they're a lot of work. Really not any stronger than the equivalent uh, P-shaped titanium bolt. 
The fifth edition of the Bolton Bible is finally available at hownotto.com. It is super free. Please go spend an hour of your life, if you're going to trust your life to bolts, to go in and understanding them a little bit better. There are a ton of photos, you can just glance through it and get the gist of how they work. If you are going to install or remove bolts, we have a ton of information to help give you the tools that you need to do that. The second half or the New Testament has four new chapters. It has climbing, highlining, caving, and canyoning specific bolting nuances. Even though we have it as a blog format, you can now download it as a PDF like you used to be able to do. And now let's pull these U-bolts in tension. It's um, pretty cold out. Don't know if you can tell. Cure time when it's this cold is 120 minutes. And if it's hot out, it's like 20. It takes two holes to do a U-bolt. I'm not sure if it really matters as far as strength goes. I think two holes right next to each other is kind of a compromise to the rock, but hey, what do I know? Now I'm not a guy who wears enough safety gear like I should, but I always use rubber gloves. This stuff is nasty otherwise. 48 degrees. No way. I am so cold from the wind. <laughs> It held, the glue is impressive, and the rock held, which is also pretty nice. 20. You're the only one in line of sight of it. 30. 40. Oh, wow! Oh, wow! Whoa, rocks went flying on that one! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's the back of the hole right there. That's really cool. It didn't break. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, wow, wow. Is that as good for you, Steve, as it was for the rock? <laughs> Exciting. Thirty. 34.25. And one side came out. Wow. That is pretty neat. Hey, be sure to go check out Climbing Taiwan's channel. He is breaking a whole bunch of uncertified bolts and I think what he's doing is super helpful. Hopefully we can be incorporating that into the bolting Bible as well soon.